Hi, we're going to try a little microphone test for the mics that we have available in the class for ComTech and uh, John McRae Secondary School. Right now you're listening to me on the onboard mic that's on the Nikon D5200 that I'm recording on. We're in a classroom environment and you'll notice it's pretty bad. The onboard mic, I'm about four feet away from it, and it's set to automatic gain for all these mics and it's going to have a hard time. We'll listen also to, tell you what, we'll listen to this Electro Voice stick mic. We'll listen to this Shure. We'll listen to this Bayer Dynamic. I think it's a Bayer Dynamic shotgun mic. We'll listen to this Asden shotgun mic. We'll listen to a wireless lavalier. And we'll listen to a Zoom H4n uh, digital recorder. Now let's see what each one of them sounds like. So this is a much smaller mic, much less expensive, uh, uses a standard cable, a little bit of a hassle getting an extension cable to it, but normally this would be mounted directly on the camera, on the DSLR, and it goes into a shock mount really easily. It can also be used on a boom pole. And it has a couple of different settings. This is the short setting. Again, I have the automatic gain turned on on the camera, so we'll see if the, better, if the sound is better with long, or does it sound better with short. Next mic we're going to go to is a little trickier. We're going to set up a wireless lavalier. Put this here, but again, more points of failure. If there's anything wrong or the settings are wrong on this, we could have problems. And the wireless lavalier, it has a monitor, which is nice. You can actually audit the sound with the headphones, but it does have several settings in the back. So I'll try to get to each of them and see what they all sound like. Wish us luck. So this is the wireless lavalier. What's nice is it travels with me as long as nothing knocks into this. It's going to sound OK. Um, there's five different settings that we have on the receiver end. This is the transmitter. It's pretty simple. Uh, the problem with the transmitter is it occasionally can go into a mute mode. Mute mode is obviously going to be an issue. So you've got to know the difference between red and green on the transmitter. But on the receiver, there are, let's see, the setting it's in right now is minus 20 decibels and on one switch, and it can be changed to minus 10 or zero. And on the other switch, it's either mono or it's balanced. Right now, you're listening to mono, minus 20. But let me change these settings and see what it sounds like. And I can be off camera as I do this, because it travels with me. So this was minus 20. This is minus 10, and probably it's going to adjust. And this is going to be zero. And I can see that it's peaking into the red, so we got a little bit of a problem. It's a little too loud for it. So I'm going to take it back to minus 10. Whoops. Here's minus 10. That seemed to be a good setting for it. But right now it's on mono, which is a switch on the left, and it's all the way set to the left. If I take it to balanced,
So now, I am now recording on the digital recorder device and we'll see what it sounds like compared to it. I can't see what the levels are looking like right now, so this needs an operator that's going to monitor this and make sure it's, uh, it's doing it right. It looks a little goofy because you know, it looks like you're aiming a gun or a phaser or something at somebody. But if you were collecting audio from, say, an environment, you wanted to get a little ambient sound in there, it might do a really good job. We'll see what it sounds like. So there's our whole set of vari or our whole set of options. We had one on the camera mics, two on the stick mic, three on the Shure, four on the uh, shotgun, bare dynamic, uh, five was the uh, stick mic, the Asden, six was the wireless lavalier. And seven is the external device that can record. And the one thing we didn't try doing was just trying a regular phone. And for the heck of it, you know what? This would be a good idea. Nice thing about this particular app, this is called Audio Recorder. I think it's just called Audio Recorder. Uh, yeah, just called Audio Recorder for Android. What's lovely about it is I can record in stereo or I can record in mono. And I can set the quality to superior. And I know the recordings later can be shared um, using Wi-Fi. And they can be sent to a Google Drive. So it's really easy to collect it. So instead of using this device, I could try using this device. And I'll set it up to see what it sounds like, too. So I am recording. Yeah, I'm recording now. All right, with this, I want to know where the mic is. I believe I don't want to use the mic at the top. I want to use the mic at the bottom. Yeah. So just tapping this thing usually tells you where it's at. So this is what my phone sounds like. Instead of using a digital, de dedicated digital device, using my phone sounds like this. So now we have an eighth audio recording method. So I think I've tried everything I can inside the classroom. Let's see what the results sound like now. This is a longer video than I wanted it to be, but hopefully it's worth it.